When it comes to major sporting events like the Olympics, there's a whole lot more to it than meets the eye, particularly when it comes to security. What the public sees is merely the tip of the iceberg, with the majority of the operation occurring hidden from view. The reality is that you've got to bind together a security operation over 32 competition venues, some of the biggest non-competition facilities in the world. For example, the International Broadcast Centre will be the biggest broadcast studio in the world for the short period of its life. Neil Fergus is the senior security advisor for the upcoming London Olympics. His business, Intelligent Risk, has been key in planning and delivering security plans for major events since the Sydney Olympics in 2000. He says that creating a security plan takes a great deal of experience and expertise and begins long before the first foundation has been laid. One of the keys to creating seamless security is bringing together all the institutions responsible for security in the host country and having them work as a team. There are a number of ways that you can design your solutions. One way, the simple way, but I would say the wrong way, is just to layer security personnel everywhere. And there have been events that have been characterised by the very visible presence of thousands and thousands of uniformed security people. That doesn't actually instill confidence. When you are trying to promote your city, promote your culture, promote everything that you're bringing to the Olympic movement internationally, you want security to be effective but not so visible. You need to have a very clever combination, command and control, technology, equipment and people. If you rely entirely on people, it's not a good look. Each event has its own set of unique problems and because of this, each security plan is custom built. Involving security advisors right from the start means design and build of venues is optimised to mitigate risk. The London Olympics are expected to draw as many as 2 billion viewers worldwide and is the perfect opportunity for the city to put its best foot forward. The perimeters will be maintained professionally searching and screening will be done to the highest order and anybody inside that game's footprint will be effectively in a, it's like a sterile environment at an airport. The British have done everything that is reasonably possible, reasonably prudent to deliver a safe and secure games. 